Ngayong ito mga kapuso, mahakapanayam naman natin si Cebu Governor Hilario Davide III. Magandang umaga po, Governor Davide. Yes, yes uh, magandang umaga po. Magandang umaga po. Okay, sir, uh, kumusta na po ang sitwasyon dyan sa Cebu matapos po yung lindol na tumama kanina nga uh, pasado alas 8 ng umaga? Uh, Ina-assess po namin yung damage po. Uh, we, yung team ng uh, sa Provincial uh, Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, may mga teams na po na pinadispatch sa mga iba't ibang uh, uh, towns just to check on the damage of the situation. Tapos, uh, I've already requested also the Vice Governor, the Vice Governor Magpale, to call a special session of uh, the Provincial Board para po ma-idaklara ng state of calamity uh, dito po sa Cebu and also Uh, I'm on my way actually to the capital to meet the uh, provincial disaster risk and uh, provincial disaster council po. Okay. Uh, Governor David, si Howie Severino po ito. Uh, we, just, yeah, we just yeah, uh, we just spoke. Hi. Uh, we just spoke to someone uh, in Bohol who said that uh, the famous church uh, in Lobok has collapsed. No, yes. wala oh, oh, may may uh, ganyang klasing uh, damage ba sa mga gusali uh, I, I, sa Cebu? I, I, uh, somebody somebody also texted me that the uh, San Antonio Church in uh, Cebu City also was damaged. Uh, hindi ko na po alam kung which part siguro sa sa Pasco sa uh, yung ano siguro yung sa Cebu. Ito po yung San Antonio Church, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, pero kumusta po yung damage po doon sa San Antonio Church? I have that actually I was just uh, somebody just texted me and still actually confirming it. I've been getting reports also from the towns. Uh, Cebu City kasi po, uh, I don't know if you already interviewed, uh, you reached uh, Mayor, uh, Mayor Rama uh, to check on that uh, kasi ang uh, something new church in Cebu City. But in the, there are also churches, uh, one church particularly in Argao, in the southern town of Cebu, uh, na damaged din po yung Kapanario. Okay, okay. Tapos po, um, kanina po ibinalita sa amin ng GMA Cebu na meron daw public market sa Mandawi City na okay, nag-collapse yes. po. Nag-collapse and then uh, may isang casualty po but I, have, I still have to confirm that also. I'm on my mobile po kasi. I yes. just came from uh, the northern tip of uh, Cebu. Yeah, Governor, uh, anong advice nyo sa publiko, dyan sa, lalo na dyan sa Cebu province? Well, of course, uh, we, uh, uh, ano po, uh, Mag, uh, for them to keep calm, uh, everything is being done po. Uh, mga, we have already dispatched our rescue teams kung meron mga, mga, mga kailangan pa ng tulong. And uh, just to, baka meron pa po kasi mga aftershocks, so just stay calm uh, and uh, to do everything there para ma-secure yung families nila, especially yung mga bata po. Would you advise them to stay outside at huwag pumasok muna sa mga tahanan at gusali at, at mga opisina nila? Ano po? Ano po yun? Uh, would you advise them to stay outside uh, sa mga evacuation center or kahit sa mga parke at huwag uh, pumasok sa mga gusali dahil may mga aftershocks well, yes, pa? Well, yes po. Uh, kung uh, as much as possible, di, uh, ano, di, uh, i-avoid nila yung mga gusali, yung mga underneath mga buildings, baka po kasi uh, peligro po. So, mas, mas maigi siguro, mas mabuti siguro if they stay outside. Doon sa, ano, sa mga, mga areas na, na safe. Okay, maraming salamat po sa inyong oras, uh, Cebu Governor Hilario Davide yes. III. Thank you po, thank you.